Project Cold started two years ago, in April 2018, when a less experienced tech whipper set out to create an utterly game-changing mod pack. Each stage would have had a destroyed counterpart. The clones would have been ported over the original characters, with completely original characters taking their places. And each character would have different properties to compensate for the cold environments that they would continually fight in. And here we are at the better timeline, two years later. Only five characters have been reworked. Every character has at least one ice attack, and no destroyed stages have been seen. Until now. This is Luigi's Corner. Most of the stage has been taken out due to a blizzard during Roy's rampage, and it doesn't look like we'll see the mansion get rebuilt anytime soon. The things that did get rebuilt are some of the custom moves that have been buffed for this update. Please take a look. The rest of the special move buffs can be seen on the Project Code page, which is in the description. Additionally, you can also see which special moves have been changed in Project Code, thanks to the logo that's on the picture of each of them. Remember that part in the Project Code intro, where Roy really meets Master Hand on top of the snowy peak? Now you can as well. You just need to go through classic mode on any difficulty, and you will find yourself in a one-on-one -on -one duel with Master Hand, with only one stock each. Do you have what it takes to defeat the hand that started it all? This has been Project Cold. It has been quite the experience to create most of the content that you can find in this mod pack. Even though it's not the most popular Smash Wii U mod pack, I have learned quite a lot about how this game works, and even pioneered in a few areas. Now, does it mean I will move on to Mod Smash Ultimate? I don't think I will. The Smash Ultimate modding scene is at a really good high point, and I would probably appear as a face among the crowd. Besides, I have other plans in mind as far as to what I'll do after this. Make sure to subscribe to see what those plans are. As for now, I'll leave you off with two more Magic Ant thoughts. You thought you were going to fight Charizard, but you are actually fighting that thing, Chilizard. There are many notable differences between Charizard and Chilizard, like their size, weight, and most notably, the fact that Chilizard uses ice for its attacks so that Charizard would use fire for it. Even though there are so many differences, Chilizard is still a part of the Charmander family for some reason. Usually the flame on the end of its tail would go out if it's in cold places for too long. If that happens, Charizard would die. How is this one still alive? More importantly, whose idea was it to subject to Charizard through such a terrible life of an ice lizard? Oh wait, it was me. Excuse me for a moment. It's strange to think that over a decade ago, not many people knew who Marth was. If it wasn't for Super Smash Bros. Melee, Fire Emblem might not be as popular as it is now. But most people know Fire Emblem for being the source of all the sword fighters, and Marth is one of the first sword fighters put into Smash. Despite purely being a swordman, he has Storm Thrust. This attack makes Marth's sword cold enough to summon wind. The sword is also cold enough to freeze him. This would make longtime fans of Fire Emblem question Marth's magic capabilities. 
Is the tip of Mart's sword really that sharp? Or has it been infused by magic in some way? Ooh. And that is all.